finally arrived at our gorgeous cottage. Cheers to the honeymoon. Good morning from Yorkshire and welcome to our honeymoon vlogs. We are at Fountains Abbey, I think, we're not quite sure. We're at a car park and we're at like this beautiful lake and garden bit at the moment. I think, what's this place called? Stu Studley? Um, Studley Royal Water Gardens. Studley Gardens, basically. Water Gardens. Yeah, I said that. And we're just waiting for National Trust to, the, the National Trust property to open at 10. We stayed overnight in a pub last night. I didn't vlog any of that because it was basically just our long journey up to Yorkshire. It took six up hours. To the north. Six hours. So we stayed overnight in a pub and then Fountains Abbey was literally like a five, ten minute drive from the pub here. So we're a little bit early, just waiting for it to open. And it was a bit drizzly this morning, but we are in the north of the country, so expecting it to be wet. And it's actually really cold. I look like I've had a bit of a fashion crisis. I've got a raincoat on, a barber jacket underneath. He's got a bright orange rucksack with nothing in it at the moment, because it's going to have his camera in it in case it starts raining. And yeah, that's the plan. So we are going to have a look at Fountains Abbey in a little bit when it opens. And then after that, we're taking a drive to the Lake District, which will probably be about two hours from where we are now. Right, so we are on our way, walking in to find Fountains Abbey says it's about a mile walk I think it's trying to spit at the moment standard and it's basically like a ruin and then there's loads of grounds and a lady just said to us like a viewpoint that we can go to that we'll also we'll see the ruin in the background and there might be some red deers hanging around so we'll try and do that and see if we can catch a nice red deer we're always walking up hills, aren't we? You know, on our holidays, on our there's holidays, always a hill. Yeah. Love a hill. Well, we have, we are coming to the Lake District. Yeah. Right, I'll catch you in a bit. There it is! Fountains Abbey, Yorkshire. And it, it's not, it's stopped raining now, so. Yeah, the sun's out now. So we've got a bit of time. So in my mum and dad's living room, they've got a painting of this above their sofa. I'm always looking at it, aren't we? Yeah, and we're trying to find the spot that it was kind of imagined from. And I think it's probably around, around about where there's we're standing. There's a stream just here. Yeah. And you've got the stream in the painting, isn't there? Here it is. It looks a little bit small on the camera, but when we get up to it in a minute, you'll see how big it is. A bit of a warm to me feel in the air today.
again. There are so many like arches and just makes your imagination wonder what it would look like if it wasn't this huge ruin here. And I don't actually know how old these ruins are. We haven't seen anything with any information yet. So I will try and find that out and include that in the little bit of information. And it's already stopped raining so I think it's going to be like on and off drizzle while we're in the north country. It's really nice and quiet here today because it's a weekday. It's one of the reasons that we chose to have our honeymoon like in September. Thought we'd wait for all the tourists and school kids to go back to school. Why have you put your hood up? It's not raining anymore. By the way. I haven't got my wind muffler on again today. So you've got to School talk loud, girl mate. error. Talk loud, so I'm mate. gonna shout at you. Yeah. Um so hopefully the footage will be alright. I'll have to put music over it if it's not. Oh look, there's a gate up there, that's a field. That way though. Yeah, but that's No no no. Let's no. go the way that she For the said. Views. For the views. Um Right, we've seen the Abbey. And you're basically you can wander around at your own leisure. It's just ruins. Um not a lot more I can say. Haven't seen any information on how old it is. And now we're going to try and find some red deer. Stay tuned. Guess what Oliver just called a leaflet? A pamphlet. <laughs> say it. Pamphlet. <laughs> it, I, I said I'm sure, I, I'm sure it will say how old it is in the pamphlet. I was like, pamphlet? When do you ever say pamphlet? I, I, I do say pamphlet sometimes. You say a lot of weird things. Yeah. It's a leaflet, bruh. If you're British. Like when I take the rubbish out, I'm, I'm taking the trash out. <laughs> garbage. No, I don't, I don't think I say garbage. You do say trash. What else do you're I trash. say? You're trash. What else do I say that's American? Uh, vacuum. Vacuum? No. Hoover. No. No. No, you're British then. I don't, yeah. Um, uh, I just like the view in the background. Keep talking garbage. <laughs> Keep talking trash. It looks good. You're so garbage. <laughs> Can't say anything to your trash. It's a lot cooler today than it's been all summer. So summer might be over now. But it is September now. I've got two coats on. I've had a real identity crisis today. I've got a jacket on because I'm normal. And he's got a on. rucksack with nothing in, basically. Because she makes me carry rucksacks for the sake of it. Ah, uh, she. Who is this she? On the path to find the deer. On the path to find the deer. We've referred to the pamphlet, or otherwise known as leaflet, and there's like this little, what would you call that thing? Monument? Like a... I don't know what a, it is. A, a lookout tower. No, a like, monument, a, monument. like a monument. And on the map, the field where the deer are supposed to be Ooh, that, that looks, looks like it's behind it. Ooh. So we're heading that way now. Ah, oh, actually, this, this is, is the spot. Yeah.
deer today. Oh, we saw deer? Yeah, but not like the close up. No. We couldn't find the gate to get into the field. And they and were now chilling we're pretty, about a mile away. It's cold and we need to, we need to head off to now. Car. Goodbye, Fountains Abbey. Oh, that's a good view. Woo. So, I didn't really explain when I started the vlog this morning. We, well, I think I explained, we stayed overnight in Yorkshire and now we are leaving Fountains Abbey, which is North Yorkshire. North Yorkshire, yeah. North Yorkshire, and we are heading to the Lake District now, and it's about a two hour car journey, uh, on top of our six hour journey yesterday. Uh, it says 82 miles, but that isn't actually to our cottage because we've put in a postcode for supermarket. a supermarket. Oh look, there's is that the cathedral straight ahead? Yeah. Sorry. Um, yeah, we've put in a Audi in Kendall. We're staying in Coniston, well near Coniston. So I wanted to do like a food shop before we get to the cottage so that hopefully we won't have to do another shop. Like while we're on our holiday, we're gonna have a couple of meals out, maybe like in a nearby pub or something, but gotta get a bit of food in. Uh, we've packed hell of a lot of stuff and that's not including the boot because um, I try to pack as much as possible because this girl don't, don't travel like do I? Oh no. I don't know. So yeah we're going to be driving through the Yorkshire Dales. Yes. I think. Yep. And that should be pretty picturesque so I will show you if there's anything interesting. But for now I'm going to eat my Audi Kinder Bueno. arrived at our gorgeous cottage after a little bit of a hiccup trying to find it sat nav just decided to dump us off on a road in the middle of nowhere so we had to kind of just take a few chances and drive down some random country lanes but we're here now so that doesn't matter i'm going to give you a quick little cottage tour before we wreck it with all of our stuff because like i said earlier we brought a lot so Currently standing at the top of the stairs. It's all on one level, so we just came up the stairs here. And we've got our living room, a nice, fairly large TV. Love the decor in here, lots of stag stuff going on. Little sofa there, and our dining room table, which looks out to this gorgeous view here so there's a little terrace if we want to eat outside but it's probably going to be too cold for that and a little coffee table an armchair here's where we'll probably be eating most of our meals oh some cards <laughs> that's the backdrop and we walk through into this really nice bright and open kitchen it's quite small but it's good enough. We've already got some of our bits in here. And there's a dishwasher here. And then like a nice V-Lux window. So it make, makes the room nice and light. And the view from our kitchen window. So if we decide to wash up, got a nice 
bit of a view going on and then straight along is the main bedroom and I just love the decor in here so nice oh there's Oliver and here's our view from our bedroom window actually got a bit of blue sky going on and they've got lots of little rugs on the floor and then there's this huge like uh, built in storage wardrobe drawers so there's loads of room for us to put our stuff which is good and this is what it looks like Whoop. as you look out along I'll show them the bathroom now yeah, there's only one thing. Remember, remember all these towels? Unless they're downstairs. But it does say it's including towels. This is a bath mat. So I bet they're in the utility room. Let me go have a look. Or the uh, bedroom. bedroom. Oh, yeah. They're in there. They're on the bed. Oh, right. Okay, so. And then, nice. Bathroom, come in, there's me. Sorry, the whole doing the washing up. I'm doing a room, a house tour. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. Dude, rightful place. What are you even washing up? Oh, I'm making the tea. Oh, fair. Yeah, so that's a little cottage tour for you there. And we'll probably just get settled in now and maybe catch you in a bit. I think we are all settled into our cottage now. I've had a little outfit change, just stuck an old t-shirt on because I think I'm going to get my hands stuck into making our first meal in our cottage and just going to go for something easy. So I think we're going to do a chicken curry. Um, we stopped off at Kendall on the way from like Fountains Abbey because I, I put in a postcode for an Audi and we just picked up a bit of meat, veg, milk, all that sort of jazz to keep us going hopefully for the week. And yeah, like I say, got to try and attempt to use someone else's kitchen now. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Cheers to the honeymoon.